good sleepy afternoon. Um, he was kind of fighting this morning, so we're letting him snooze really good right now. But 12:46, I'm actually kind of done working for the day. I'm taking. I couldn't take full days because of a lot of business stuff that's going on at the end of the year for my work. So, but I think it's time to finally try out this air fryer here. First up, we're doing pigs in a blanket. I preheated it for three minutes. Okay, the air fryer is magic. I put in, oh, I got a piece of bread stuck in my throat. <coughs> I put in little corn dogs in for four minutes, which actually the book said six minutes, and they came out, I was like, oh no, I burned them. And I'm stubborn, I'll still eat burned things. But I was letting it cool, and I went to go eat one, and they're not burned. They're like they're burned, but they're just like hard, right? Crispy. And the dogs are juicy still. And I just came out the first batch of three minute cooked Bagel bites. So those are the corn dogs. They look burned, don't they? But they're just like crispy. Are you gonna mix up? Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're oh, fancy. Yeah. And then use the corn, the bagel bites, which I didn't have yet. And then we're gonna get French fries going. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at those! Look at those! Between this and the panini press, my life is over. Look at this. Yes, we're gonna get some checkers French fries going. And a lot more than, the, than my friends over there realize. It's a three pound bag. Right now about two pounds of it are in there. <laughs> yeah, these come seasoned, they come delicious, and they are hot. This is 15 minutes. Crispy. Look at these comfy kids. We got really good sleep last night. We, James didn't wake up until the morning, which we were worried about. It's just a cozy day. <laughs> this is the face of a man that just pooped his pants <laughs> with the most satisfaction. <laughs> he had a good nap. Had a good poop. No, That's a good life. Give him a good change. We're trying out the new harness that you've got for Christmas, but we're not so sure about it because once she needs a haircut and two, she doesn't use harnesses often. After having a qualm, we've decided we currently hate the harness. But I think after a haircut and some just good old fashioned getting used to it, she'll love it. But right now, not too much of a fan. Evie is helping me cook up some dinner. So I made the one pot pasta meal. I'm doing it the same like Greek Mediterranean way. Ooh, don't fog up, don't fog up. Um, but a whole container of veggie broth. I did some water because I used more pasta. Um, two peppers, two tomatoes, red peppers that is. Red pepper flakes, a whole onion, half a lemon's worth of juice. And then you just let it cook. You don't strain it at all. It's just I cook it on high, and then once it gets bubbly, I turn it on medium. Then once it gets to this point, I put it on low. I'm gonna chop up some olives for those two. I don't like them, and it takes over the flavor. So I would rather not have this, so I always put these on the side. And then again, just a classic salad. Lettuce, tomato, onion, red wine vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano. Here's the kind of final product of Sarah's classic salad and pasta dinner. And because of Christmas, we have special dinners for Eve. And she can't wait for it. Look at this big kid dressed up in overalls. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Don't look at me, I'm watching Phil. <laughs> Wide as this could be, just chilling. I'm going to drive. Yeah. Show mom Winter Park. Maybe take a walk. Maybe. Stop by CRM. Yeah. Get a closer look at CRM. Can say hi to the embryos, the M babies. Paid their rent today. Go ahead.
Show and mom CRM where the embryos are. Jamesy, do you remember how it felt to live there? You were there for a couple months. I interrupt this Orlando tour with a stop at Market on South. Outdoor seating, beautiful. I'm only running in, not anybody else, but I wanted to show you this mural if we've never shown it to you. And whoa, there. This is an exit only. I knew that. Oh, plane. There's an executive airport nearby. So I'll call it, we're stopping here to get treats on the way home because it's late. We're gonna call this the Orlando tour phase one. We're gonna do an Orlando phase, Orlando tour phase two aka during daylight um probably tomorrow when i'm done working just so like we wanted to see tonight all the christmas decorations and stuff at night and then tomorrow we'll do it during the day and maybe get out and walk some park avenue maybe walk some lake eola our good old market on south because she said let's get some of that place that restaurant you guys love so much and get some sweet treats to eat outdoor seating space everything They've really spaced it out on the inside with its merchandise and everything. They offer a vegan wine now, too. An orange bird back there for all the Disney people. Sarah and I still need, I think, that one, the downtown Orlando map so bad. We just need to buy it and buy it framed. If they sold that one in the frame, ooh, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. We have a problem with buying things and having, never getting frames for them. Super important to point out during these COVID times that to support your small shops. And Market on South does a great job of doing that because all of this is small shop. All of it. Look at that. Vegan burger. Vegan burger mixes. And if you have to ask, the answer is always yes. I bought way too much stuff just now. So we just took my mom on a little tour of downtown, just like a driving tour through, well actually first through Winter Park and Park Avenue, um, and then around Lake Eola, and even as far as Winnie Palmer, the hospital that James was born at. So that was really nice just showing her all around because like us, she's really known Orlando for Disney World. And it really is like its own, like totally different vibe, everything over here. So it was really cool to show her all of that. And on the way home, we stopped at Market on South and we got some sweet treats. And Peter says he went overboard. So we'll have to see what he got. A Peps, ginger ale. Yeah. I want a Peps too. Um, that looks delicious. What are these? Are? No. We have a cookie bar, Ooh. a death bar. Ooh. I just, maybe just a cookie. Yeah, I thought it looked like it might have marshmallows in it, but... Oh, s'mores bar. Yeah? Chocolate chip bar, s'mores bar, death bar. Okay. All by, don't forget, and it's Market and South gets their bakeries from Valhalla Bakery. Mm -hmm. We've got a Snickerdoodle Yolo. They didn't have any bourbon yellows. I yelled mm -hmm. at them, don't worry. Just kidding. Oh, yes. I said, that's okay. Mm. They sold mm -hmm. out today. And I know, bye. Which is so funny. I've never even seen a little pie like this there before. My mom's absolute favorite is banana cream pie. She even wanted one for her birthday and they searched far and wide for one and couldn't find one. And Market on South Good delivered. Well.
Can you hear the whistle blowing? Rise up so early in the morn. <laughs> Are you slinking down? <laughs> Dinah, blow your horn. Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Oh. We're getting ready for bed, but I don't know if he's ready for bed. Oh. Of do the next right thing came out of a conversation that Jen and I had really early on about my anxiety and depression. I just showed that clip of Kristen Bell talking about singing that song, and I was pulling this out to show Sue that is Sweet Pea's ultrasound with my little necklace that is that because we realized i didn't like specifically show her it since she arrived um but special song special tattoo getting ready for bed heating up a bottle it was a good relaxing day yeah but tomorrow during the day we go out it's good to be back it's good to sometimes i get this weird emotion where christmas is over and guess what it's halloween time I know I have issues. Anyway, it is December 28th, last Monday of the year. The quote is by Eckhart Tolle. Sometimes letting things go is an act of far greater power than defending or hanging on. Ain't that the truth? Something I need to do, something that we should all do a little bit. We decided we're getting this calendar again. Look at this skill, just laying this mat on me. Whenever we, so we started watching. Stop. I'll mute that so you don't get your Amazon devices freaking out. Um, I didn't do it. Pause. You should keep the level up when we do this. <laughs> um, we were watching Frozen or Into the Unknown, making a Frozen Two because Sue's never seen it. Um, Sue is my mom. Have we mentioned her name before? <laughs> I think so, so let's hope so, because I've been saying Sue a lot the past couple of days. Anyway, at one point I scared Eve <laughs> like no, like none other before. I was Eve. hiding in the tent. Sarah called her. We both betrayed her. And Eve literally like twisted. Jumped little, back, yeah. Like a back handspring while she needs water. She does. Eve, what do you need? Eve, do you need water? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.